Guys? What day is it? Talk Shop Tuesdays, baby! What the fuck is this? What are you watching? Talk Shop Tuesdays. Baby! <laughs> A little late, guys, but better late than never, am I right? Again, better late than ever. It is 10.51 p.m., but it's cool. If you have a problem with that, you know, I'm going to post a picture right now and it's going to be of a quick breakdown I did when looking at a house yesterday. Um, and then I'm going to elaborate on that picture to break down the numbers and talk to you what it's exactly about. It's pretty rough. So um, stay tuned. Okay, guys, here is the notepad, my beautiful handwriting. Let's break it down. Acquisition, 280,000. Construction, 65,000. That's me paraphrasing those two words. That brings the total to 345,000. Multiply both of those by 90% because I'm looking at a 90% LTV loan to value ratio, which means I'm getting 90% financing on that amount, brings it to $310,500. That's the amount of money I am getting financed. $34,500 is when you subtract 345, when you subtract 310 from 345, you get 345. Add 20000 in miscellaneous costs, closing costs, uh, holding costs, things that you're not factoring, um, you know, miscellaneous, just things to be safe because you have to, you always have to be safe. Um, and your total's 54500 Go back to the sheet and look at the total, 54500 That is your out-of-pocket cost, okay? Very important. The total is actually 85000 So for those of you not paying attention, please leave the classroom and go get Professor Avgi a Twix bar. Okay? Okay, back to business. So I'm factoring 10% financing at six months. Let's say you're in the property. Within three months, you're out. Um, by month six is the closing date. So you're paying $16,000 in total interest. Um, deduct everything and it brings you to $69,000. That's your total profit. So 10% interest sounds like a lot, but in six months, it's really only 5% interest. I don't pay any prepayment uh, penalties. So like I'd be paying anything on top of that. Um, and then this brings me to my point of the whole Talk Shop Tuesday, why high interest debt can be leveraged um, to make money fast in real estate if you're willing to take the risk. Oh, for those of you who hate your job and uh, want to go off and make money in real estate, flipping properties, you know, because it's just that easy. I mean, everybody does it, right? There's shows, fix and flip, whatever. Um, you guys have to do this. You have to sit down, look yourself in the mirror, and tell yourself that you can do this. Because shit is scary, guys. High interest debt is not easy to pay back, especially if you don't compound it what you think you're going to. Um, but it's the leap that you're going to have to take if you don't have a million dollars or heavy investors willing to back you. Um, and that's really it. This wraps up my Talk Shop Tuesday. Uh, high interest debt can be okay. It's really not that bad, especially if you get it um, without penalties and stuff like that uh, in flipping real estate. Um, but the deal's important, buying rights always important. And to wrap it up, you know, it's already wrapped up, but to just touch on this whole deal, I don't know if I'm doing this. This is not really my deal. It's um, really close people to me, friends and family. I'm showing them what to do and how to do it. And uh, they're begging me to be partners. And uh, after a lot of consideration, I might go in on it. Um, I'm probably going to if they get it because they're gonna need my money, guys. Um, and then if it all works out, uh, and I trust them, I do trust them, I trust them with my life actually, but if it all works out, then they know it's gonna be huge because then I'm gonna loop in my investors. And if this does work out, like I said from day one, I like to work on my, my own money, or I guess this one, my friends and family's money and lenders' money. Um, if it does work out, then I'll loop in my investors because uh, never forget your investors, they believed in you in the beginning. And, um, then it'll be huge, you know, because my investors aren't small people. They are, take like a middle income salary, you know, like middle income, whatever 
the median is in the country. Multiply that by say, I don't know, 40, and then put that into like the fourth power. You know, you remember high school trigonometry math. So the fourth power of 40 times the median income, and that's like my investors like weekly income. So they would gladly put into something like this a ton of money if we're bringing back 100% returns uh, in six months. Um, and then it's a home run for everyone and everyone goes to sleep happy. But these people have to prove to me that they're gonna make this business happen. That's why I think them hounding me for like four months to do something with them worked out because I might actually do this one. And, uh, and then, God willing, I have another business that'll do pretty well and I'll be in the flipping business without really being all involved. I'll be hands off, but I'll always keep a watch because my money's important to me and the people's money around me that invest with me is important to me. But I know it's a steady business that's bringing back steady returns and I'm happy. So I hope you guys like these bloopers. I haven't done this part yet of a Talk Shop Tuesday. Please keep dropping feedback because it makes me keep going, you know. And I'm a narcissist.